Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. So as you can see, as I'm playing this Yankees game here, that the Red Sox must have won today's game. So, uh, so yeah, so hopefully we can get a loss from the Yankees here. Um, so we're going to have Mike Paxton on the hill against Ed Figueroa for the Yankees. The Yankees have won three in a row. Unfortunately, the Cleveland Indians have lost ten in a row. So we've got a, a monumental task by Cleveland to win the next two, last two games against the Yankees. Against the Yankees, pretty much, it's been close to the ace. He's actually been, I think, a little bit better than Guidry overall. Although he didn't get the votes and the MVP voting and everything as much as Guidry did. Um, but I think stat-wise, Figueroa has had a, had a better season overall. Um, at least the last time I looked anyway, a few games ago. So that may have changed in the last... Um, couple of weeks, but anyway, so let's get this game underway. Mr. Brody, Purple Monkey, and Blue Duck are in the co-host seat, ready to go, and uh, let's get started. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. Alrighty, so you can see Ed Figueroa is on the hill. He has a record of 19 and 6, 20 and 9 on the actual season. So if he w wins this one, which hopefully he will not, he couldn't get his 20th victory of the season. Cleveland Indians will try to stop that. In actuality, the Yankees did win this game by a score of 7 to nothing, I think. Yes, yeah, 7 nothing over the Cleveland Indians. So we definitely have our work cut out for us as Cleveland is the underdog, and we're at Yankee Stadium. So Figueroa on the hill, 19-6, 3.25 earned run average, 260 innings pitched, 225 hits allowed, 77 walks, 102 strikeouts, and has surrendered 20 homers. Hopefully uh, Cleveland can get a couple homers today and equal, at least equal that mark for the season for Figueroa. So for the Yankees behind Figueroa, it's going to be white and left, Rivers in center, and Jackson in right, which is good news because Jackson is not the, does not have the greatest range in right. In the infield, it's Nettles, Dent, Doyle, and Chambliss. Overall, uh, overall a very good um, defense, except it uh, looks like Willie Randolph is not starting at short, so that's good as Doyle is not quite as much range, good a range as Randolph. I believe Randolph is a, I think he's a one, I want to say, maybe a two. Um, but anyways, Doyle is not, doesn't have as much range, so hopefully those factors will play into the game. And Thurman Munson behind the plate. So for the lineup for the visiting Cleveland Indians is Rick Manning, the center fielder, leader off, followed by Jim Norris in left field. Buddy Bell, the third baseman, will bat third. Andre Thornton will bat cleanup and play first. Wayne Cage is the DH batting fifth. Gary Alexander behind the plate hits sixth. Dwayne Kuyper, the second baseman, bats seventh. Briggs, Dan Briggs, the right fielder, will hit eighth. And Tom Rise, the shortstop, bats ninth. So hopefully the Indians can get it started off early here. Nettles and Chambers are in on the grass against Manning. Manning comes in hitting 263, six home runs, three more than doubling his home runs on the actual season. And 47 RBIs, three off at his pace. So Figueroa looks in for the sign from Munson. Here's the windup in the pitch. It's going to be off the one column. And it's going to be a fly ball to right. Jackson is there. 
and he'll make the catch for out number one. So that's how we'll start. So that'll be up Jim Norris, the left fielder, comes in hitting 285 with a home run 22 runs batted in. Nettles and Chambliss again in on the grass. And it's going to be off the four column. That's going to be a range check on Rivers and center. Rivers above average range with a two. One through three will be a hit. And he'll get to it. Oh, and he's going to commit the error. It's going to be a two base error as Rivers can is under it and he drops it. So break for the Indians here so they can take advantage of it. We don't care how we get the runs as long as we get runs. So Buddy Bell with a chance to put give the Indians an early lead here. Comes in hitting 278 with five homers and 69 runs batted in. His next home run will equal his total for the season. In the re actual season. And it's going to be off the two column. And that's going to be a walk. So the Indians have something going here with one down. Runners on first and second. <laughs> Mr. Barodi there is... Stretching his head there, hoping that Cleveland can get on the board here. Andre Thornton up to the up up to the plate now. The Indians best power hitter. He comes in hitting just two twenty three on the season though, thirty nine points off his pace. Only twenty nine homers and eighty eight runs batted in, so a little bit of a subpar season. But hopefully Thornton can Get a little closer to his actual stats and hit his 30th home run here. It would be nice. So come on, one column. So Figueroa looks in for the sign from Munson. Here's the wind up in the pitch. And it's going to be off the four column. And that will be a strikeout. Strike three called. Thornton does not agree with that one. So that'll bring up the DH, Wayne Cage. Wayne Cage hitting just 191 on the season with five homers and ten runs batted in. One more home run than he did on the actual season. Come on, two call. Here's the wind up in the pitch, and that's going to be off the three call. And back to back K's will end the inning. So the Indians cannot take advantage of the Rivers error. <sighs> Good teams take advantage of it, the bad teams don't. So Mike Paxton on the hill as the Yankees come up to the bat in the bottom of the first. Mike Paxton with a 9 and 15 record on the season. It was 12 and 11 on the actual season, so not faring as well there with a, a run of, I mean, almost a full run greater ERA. Not quite, eight tenths of a run great, uh, worse. One save, 186 innings pitched, 205 hits allowed. That's part of the reason why he's, he's allowed more hits than innings pitched. 60 walks and 104 strikeouts, and a surrender also seven more round trippers than he did on the actual season. So, Pat, they need, Red Sox need a big day. Yes, the Red Sox need a big day from Mike Paxton. So, the defense behind Paxton is going to be Norris and left, Manning and center, Briggs and right. Overall, uh, above average defense out there, very low error ratings, and Manning and Briggs with above average arms. Briggs and Manning with the best range in center and Briggs above average range in right with Norris having average range in left. In the infield is going to be Bell, Verizer, Kuiper, and Thornton overall above average except for Verizer who's average with a slightly high error rating. But overall a good defense for the infield for the Cleveland. Alexander behind the plate is below average. He's more known for his bat with a below average arm. Paxson is above average at holding runners on with average error rating. Uh, error, yeah. I'd say an average error rating and a average range. So the Yankees lineup is going to be Mickey Rivers, the center fielder, will bat first, followed by Thurman Munson behind the plate. Red Jackson, the right fielder today, is batting third. Greg Nettles, the third baseman, bats cleanup. Chris Chambliss, the first baseman, hits fifth. Roy White in left will hit sixth. Jim Spencer is the DH today, batting seventh. Brian Doyle, brother of Denny Doyle, who was on the Red Sox, will bat eighth. And Bucky Dent, the shortstop will hit ninth. So for the Red Sox to take advantage of having some weaker hitters there in the lineup with Doyle and Spencer, although Spencer does have power at the DH. 
So River steps in the box. He comes in hitting 276, 14 homers, 56 runs bat in, three more homers, and eight more RBIs. So Bell and Thornton in on the grass. And that's going to be a ground ball to Verizer at short. Up with it over to Thornton. And he'll beat him by a step. So one down now for the Yankees. Bring up Thurman Munson. Hitting 267, 30 points behind his average on the actual season. Does have one more home run and three more RBIs with 7 and 74. Oh, and he's going to get one to hit here. Gets one in the wheelhouse. And that's going to be a base hit past Kuiper. And Verizer. So the Yankees with a one out base runner brings up Reggie Jackson. Hitting 251, slightly off his average. Does have five more home runs with 32 and 88 RBIs. With and this is going to be off the four column. And Jackson's going to take this one deep. That one's going to go short hop the wall. And we're going to send... Oh, wait. They probably wouldn't send the lead runner. Man, I can't believe I didn't change this. So lead runner, they wouldn't send him with only 50% chance. So with Munson running... So they're going to hold them. So let's go back and change that there. So the Yankees, we want managed by the computer. All right, so the Yankees have something going here. Runners on second and third with one down. For Greg Nettles, 292 hitter, 24 homers, 89 runs batted in. And Yankee... Uh, the Indians are going to play back, conceding the run here. It's going to be off the two column. And that's going to be a line out to Kuiper. So two down now for Chris Chambliss. Chambliss comes in hitting 293 with 20 homers, eight more home runs in the actual season, and 98 RBIs, also eight more RBIs. Hopefully he will not get any more here. So Paxton trying to... And the first without any damage. It's going to be off the six column. And he'll strike him out swinging. So Paxton is able to get out of the jam here. And after one full, no score. So Alexander will lead it off for the Indians. Alexander having a fine season power-wise, hitting 254. Even average-wise, he's 29 points above his average. 28 homers, one more than in the actual season, and nine more RBIs with 93. Hopefully we can add to that total today. So Figueroa looks in for the sign for Munson. He has to wind up in the pitch. And he'll get a base hit to left. Rounds the bag hard and starts for second. And Roy White fires a bullet as to second as Alexander scrambles back to the bag. So the leadoff runner is on for the Indians. So that'll bring up Dwayne Kuyper. Let's take a look at his... Should have just clicked on him, but I'll click on him here. So Kuiper is an A bunter. And who do we have coming up next? Briggs. Mm, Briggs is not that great. I think we're going to push Alexander in the scoring position here. So Indians are going to try to help the Red Sox out here. And we're going to have him. No, he's not going to steal. Not going to hit and run. We'll try a sacrifice here. So Kuiper lays one down. So falls off two bunts. Oh boy. We're going to stay with the bunt. Picks it up the bunt. Fires the first in time. So Kuiper is able to get the bunt down with two strikes. So Alexander in scoring position with one down for Dan Briggs. As you can see is pretty bad. Against righties, much better against lefties, surprisingly. Hitting just 075 on the season with one RBI and 40 at bats. Hopefully, we can get something off of Figueroa's card off that five column. So, let's see what we can do. He's lined up in the pitch, and it's going to be off the six column. Come on, six. Oh, almost got the skinny signal, single, but he'll fly out to Jackson for out number two. So, Verizon with a chance to put out the Indians on the board. Come on, two column. Two is five column. And it's going to be off the... Oh, that's not bad either. Three column. Come on, Verizer. Runner is off with the crack of the bat. 
And he grounds out to Nettles at third. <sighs> so the Indians unable to capitalize. And the run in scoring position with the one and a half, no score. Just being to see how bad the Indians really are. <laughs> so we're right, right up to the plate now. It'll be White, Spencer, and Doyle up against Paxson. White comes in hitting 273, 10 homers, two more than in the actual season, and 70 RBIs, seven more than in the actual season. It's going to be out the four column. It's going to be a fly ball to Manning at center, their best defender. He should get to this one. He does. And makes the catch for out number one. So one gone in the Yankee second. Nice diving catch, actually, by Manning. So Jim Spencer up now. Hitting 225, but with 11 homers, four more than in the actual season, and 31 ribbies, seven more. So hopefully his production is over. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. Riza gets to it. Oh, it's going to be a rare play here. It's a positive one. Off the pitcher's foot, bounces right to Verizon and goes to first in time. So it looks like Paxson's foot is okay as he waves off the trainer. So two down now for Brian Doyle. Doyle, wow, hitting much better than he did on the actual season. 277 with two runs batted in. Didn't have any RBIs on the actual season. Off to six column. That's going to be a ground ball to Bell. Bell above average range. He'll get to it. Oh, but he's going to boot it. Oh, man. Charges it and drops it. So an error on Bell allows the weak hitting Doyle to reach. So that'll bring up Dent with two outs and a run on first. Yankees trying to capitalize off the Indian error. Dent hitting just 229 with four homers and 29 ribbies. Oh, my goodness. And he'll get one to hit here. And Bucky bleeping Dent is going to go deep and gone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that brought back bad memories there as the weak hitting Bucky Dent hits a two-run homer to put the Yankees on top two to nothing. His fifth home run of the season, tying his tunnel, only his fifth. So, wow, that was just way too hit close, way too close to home. So hopefully... Good news is, is it's early on and it's only in the second inning. But the Yankees now have a 2 0 lead, so the error by Bell proves extremely costly. So Rivers up now and he'll pop it up to Verizon to end the inning. But damage is done on the error by Bell and then the two run blast by Dent. Bucky Bleep and Dent. After two and a half, it's 2 0 New York. So Figueroa now with the lead brings up the top of the order Manning, Norris, and Bell. And it's going to be off the sixth column. And it's going to be a range check on Chambliss. Chambliss above average range. Gets to it. Oh, come on, error. Ah, oh, looks like it was going to stop there for a second. But he's able to bobbles it, able to recover. Feeds the figure hour for out number one. So Jim Norris up now. Jim Norris reached on an error by Rivers his first time up. Ooh, might get one to hit here, though. It's this one deep between Rivers and Jackson. This one will go all the way to the wall in the gap. So Rivers tracks it down, but not before Norris ends up at second with a one-out double. So Bell with a chance to atone for his error here. Walked for his first time up. Uh, not much on this column here. That's a ground ball to Dent. Spins on the first. As Norris stays at second, now with two down. So Thornton could tie this game up with one swing of the bat. Struck out in his first at bat. Ooh, chance here. Come on, Thornton. Come on, six. Ah, gets the right split, but the wrong result. And makes the catch. So Thornton gave it a ride, but just a little under it. And that would have tied it up. So after two and a half, it's New York two, Cleveland nothing. Munson up to the plate now.
Leads it off the Yankees in the bottom of the third off Paxton. And that's going to be a ground ball to Kuiper at second over to Thornton for out number one. So Reggie Jackson up now doubled his first at bat. We'll walk this time. So one out walk. And we have Greg Nettles who lined up in his first at bat. And he'll strike out looking. Strike three called. Second K of the day for Paxton. So Chris Chambliss up now. Struck out in his first at bat. And he'll strike out again. So back to back K's to end the inning. So after three full, it remains 2 nothing New York. I think we're going to pinch hit for Wayne Cage. Yes, pinch hit already. We're going to pull out all the stops today. We're going to bring in the lefty Bernie Carbo. We know he's overused. So Bernie Carbo to come in to pinch hit for Wayne Cage. Red Sox need all the help they can get, even from ex-players now. So Carbo in there now. Comes in hitting 278 with seven homers and 38 runs batted in. Oh, a chance here for Carbo. Ah, oh, but he strikes out. Man, he had a couple home run chances on there. Unable to get the split, though, and it's one down. So Gary Alexander now singled in his first at bat. It's this one, the center. Rivers back pedals up. Makes the catch for out number two. So Dwayne Kuyper had a sacrifice bunt his first time up. And that's going to be a base hit for Kuyper to right. So Kuyper's on with a two-out single. Oh, boy. Let's see who we have here. Bo Diaz play the outfield. Let's see. Who's good against righties here? Fredo Griffin. He's already had nine at-bats, though. Paul Dade is a possibility. Does have kind of a high error rating. But we're going to bring in Paul Dade. So Paul Dade is going to come in. Maybe, let's see. Yeah. So Paul Dade is going to come in and play, replace Briggs here. So the Indians pulling off the stop. So Paul Dade comes in and in 252 with four homers, 37 ribbies. Come on, two column. Ah, uh, so one column, not what we wanted. And that's going to be grounded out to Dent over to first, and that'll end the inning. So after three and a half, it remains 2 nothing New York. And I'm going to put Dade in right field. Yeah, we don't want to put Carbo in right field. He's not good anyway. So Paul Dade there. Not quite as good a defender as Briggs there, but we need his bat. Kind of a high, pretty high error rating for an outfielder, so hopefully they don't get any range checks out in right field. So Roy White up now to lead it off for the Yankees in the bottom of the fourth. Flew out in his first at bat. And lines this one to Kuiper for out number one. Jim Spencer up now, grounded out in his first at bat. It's going to be a range check on Verizer. Oh, and it's going to be a base hit. So Verizer unable to get to it. No, actually he does get to it. Throws it on a bounce to Thornton, but Spencer beats it out. So a one-out single. Brings up Doyle, reached on an error by Bell. 
And that's going to be hit, oh my goodness, over the head. And it's going to be a double for Doyle as Spencer is held at third. So the infield is going to bring in for Bucky Bleep and Dent. We had two run homers first at bat. It's going to be a ground ball to Kuiper over to Thornton as the runners hold. So Paxton needs to get out of it here, keep it a two-run game. Nicky Rivers 0 for 2 on the day. Ah, man. And we're going to try to throw for that lead runner. Oh, and he gets him. No? Oh, no. Alexander was poor at blocking, or else he would have had him. <laughs> so the ineptitude of the Cleveland Indians comes back to bite us, and it's now a four-run Yankee lead. Ouch. So Paxson's not getting any help from his defense today. Munson up now. And ground ball to Bell. That'll end it. But damage is done as the Indians plate two more. 4 nothing now. Not looking good for the Red Sox here. So Bryce are up now. Grounds out as he did in the first inning. For the first time up. So Manning up now. 0 for 2 on the day. Come on, Dent. You can commit an error here. Oh, almost got landed in that. Single spot. Dent's able to make the play for out number two. So the Indians not helping themselves. Uh, Jim Norris up now. As Figaro is cruising along now. He has reached base twice on a two-base error by Rivers. And a double. So Norris has a chance here to get on base again. Or go deep. Come on, Norris. Yeah, lines out to Dent to end the inning. So the Indians go quietly in the fifth. And halfway through, it's 4 nothing New York. Paxton back out there up to 75 pitchers. Jackson a double and a walk off Paxton. And that's going to be another double. And that is going to be it for Paxton. As his day is going to be done. So, Rick Wise is going to come in, I believe. Yeah, Rick Wise pitched eight innings in the actual game because Mike Paxton did not even retire a batter, allowing five hits and five runs, so he did pitch better, although not all of it today was his fault. So, Rick Wise, the extra Red Sox, will come in. Does not look too happy to be in there. So Rick Wise did have a good season, 14 and 10, much better than he did on the actual season. 9 and 19 on the actual season with a 3.23 earn run average. So hopefully that will continue now. Two, 237 innings pitched, 223 hits allowed. So much better ratio there. 61 walks and 16 more strikeouts with 122 and surrendered four less homers. So Wise will face the Nettles with a runner in second. Responsibility of Paxton. That's going to be a ground ball to Kuiper. Range check. It should get the runner over. So Kuiper up with it. Over to first as Jackson moves to third with now with one down. So a fly ball could score a run. So infield is going to play in down by four. Hopefully Chambliss will strike out. Going to be off the two call, four column. And it's going to be a fly ball to left. Norris with a below average arm, unfortunately. Jackson, somewhat, a little bit of space running speed. So Norris is going to make the catch. Here he goes. He's going to uncork the throw. Uh, it's medium deep. Makes the catch. Loses balance and throw goes wide. So the Yankees add to their lead on the sacrifice fly. By Chambliss, and it's now 5 nothing. So Roy White in there now. Another range check, so. 
Not looking good for the Red Sox here. As if the Yankees win, the Red Sox will be eliminated. And gets him. So that'll do it as we head to the top of the six with the Yankees up by five. Figueroa cruising along. Bell is 0 for 1 with a walk. Oh, and Bell's going to take this one deep, and that one is off the top of the wall. Bounces away from Rivers. It's going for third, and he'll be in there with a triple. So just misses a home run off the top of the wall. And does end up at third with a leadoff triple. So good start for the Indians here. Throw an 0 for 2 on the day. And he strikes out for the second time. So Thornton not happy with that. So one down now. Cleveland's got to start pecking away here. So Bernie Carbo with a chance. Struck out in his first at bat. Come on, Carbo. You got another chance on the home run column here. Ah, oh, and Bernie Carbo is going to go deep, but... Jackson is there at the wall to make the catch. So that was close to going out, but as Carbo breaks his bat on his knee on that one, just missed that one. But he does get the run home. It is 5-1 to one now. So Gary Alexander, one for two up now. Single back in the second. And could they get... Jack Alexander's got a chance here to go deep. Ah, just misses the single as dense snow cones it. So, things not going the Indians' way. But they do get a run, so it's 5-1. to one. Wise back out there again. Spencer, one for two, singled his last time up. And he gets him looking. First K of the day for Wise. So, I bring up Brian Doyle. Brian Doyle, the weak hitting Brian Doyle, reached on an error in the second and doubled in the fourth, both off Paxton. And that's going to be a liner to white, as it looks like a line out, but they say it wasn't a line. They say it did hit the ground, so Wise threw to first. So two down now for Bucky Dent. A two run homer back in the second, grounded out in the fourth. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. So Dent gets his second hit of the day. we bring up Rivers. Had a two-run single back in the fourth. Dent trying to get the lead. And Dent gets picked off by Wise. Yes, that was a dumb play by Dent. Hopefully that will come back to bite the Yankees. So a nice pickoff move by Wise gets him. So we'll head to the seventh. Figaro back out there up to 93 pitches. Kuiper sacrificed in the second and singled in the fourth. Oh, come on, Kuiper. Kuiper has weak power, but he can get on base. And a good start is that's going to be through the infield. So two hits for Kuiper on the day. Gets a leadoff single here. Good start for the Indians. Paul Dade came on to bat in the fourth. Rounded out to Figueroa. Indians need base runners. Uh, that will not be good as Nettles over to second for one. Back to first. Not in time. So White uh, Dade grounds out into a fielder's choice. Verizer up now. He's grounded out twice today. Go on, Verizer. Verizer's going to hit this one into the corner. And 85% chance we're gonna we're still gonna go for it. They're gonna cut it off probably. So Verizer with an RBI double makes it a 5-2 game. So the Indians not done yet. Come on, Manning. Manning has doubled his t home run total. Can he continue to have a good season? Come on, three column. They can make it a one-run game with a blast here. Uh, wrong column though. So he lines out the short as Riser dives back to the bag. So two down now for Jim, the weak hitting Jim Norris. One for three with a double. Well, actually, one, yeah, one for three with a double. Also reached on an error. 
Come on, one column. Ooh, that's not bad either. Come on, five column. Yes, he gets the five, and that's going to be a base hit. And that will score the run. So the Indians now within two. So he, as Jim Norris delivers an RBI single, Buddy Bell with another chance to... Well, he did get a triple, so walk in a triple. Come on, Bell. Bell with five home runs in the season. His next home run will, will tie his total for the season and tie this game. Come on, three column or five column. And that's going to be it, as Rich Gossage is going to come in in the seventh. So that's good news, but bad news is his Gossage is on there. So come on, three column or six column. Oh, come on, three column. Can Bell go deep? Ah, oh, it just misses the single. And, oh, man. And he flying, flies out to white to end the inning, but Cleveland gets two. And Polster within two, five three. So here's the trivia question. Could be the last trivia question of the season. Well, no, we get, we'll play the Red Sox game no matter what. So what second baseman participated in more double plays than any other? I don't know. Evers, Johnny Evers, maybe. I want to say Johnny Evers, and my second one is going to be Lou Whitaker behind that. So, let's see what it, see what it is. Might be Lou Whitaker. I'm going to go with Evers, though. Bill Mazeroski. Wow. So, Bill Mazeroski is the answer to the trivia question. Thank you, Mr. Brody, Miss Mags, and Purple Monkey, as Mr. Brody is stretching it out here on Saturday afternoon. So, Wise back out there needs to keep this a two-run game. So he'll face Rivers, Munson, and Jackson. The law firm. And a strikeout. Strikeout swing. So good start. As Wise gets Rivers swinging. I'm going to change up. So Thurman Munson up now. One for three. Single back in the first. Lines this one to Bell. So two up and two down for the Yankees in the seventh. Yankees fans a little bit quieter here. Reggie Jackson up now. Reggie Jackson's had a perfect day. A couple of doubles and a walk. All off Paxton. And Wise will get him. On the foul tip. So two strikeouts for Wise. Doing his job. So he hit head to the eighth. And the Indians down by two. Gossage back out there again. Through just two pitches last inning to get the out. So Andre Thornton struck out twice against Figueroa 0 for 3. He's glad to see somebody else, but Figueroa is probably not the one. I mean, uh, Gossage is not probably the one he wanted to see. See what he can do here. Oh, not the calm he wants to be on either. Unless it's a 12. Come on, 12. Nope. He'll strike out. So third strikeout of the day for Thornton. One down here in the eighth. Brings up Bernie Carbo. He made a bid for a home run last time. Missed by just inches. Oh, here we go again. Come on. Get on base. And that's going to be a... Doyle leaps and can't come up with it. So a base hit for Carbo. Oh, boy. Do we pinch hit for Carbo? I mean, pinch run. Oh, boy. Who else do we have that can run? Does speed have any speed? He does. 15. Hmm. Oh, Alfredo Griffin is 16. So I think Alfredo Griffin is going to come in as a pinch... Pinch runner. No, I don't think it... Uh, so we're not trying to steal a base now. Oh, boy. Gossage is very good at holding runners on, too. So we're not going to be stealing anyway. We're down by two. And yeah, it looks to me 
I'm going to take advantage of the strat engine here. If it's a B, they automatically get the runner out at second anyway. So it's got nothing to do with the speed of the runner from what I can see. So I'm going to leave Carbo in for now. So Alexander comes up now. He's one for three on the day. Oh, well, he has a chance here to go deep. Come on. Come on, four split. Can he do it? Oh, and he lines out to Nettle. So again, Alexander has a chance but cannot deliver. Denied again. So Dwayne Kuyper has got a pair of singles on, on the day against Figueroa. Two for three. Needs to keep the, Indi the Indians uh, the inning going here. This could do it. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. We're going to hold the other. That would have been, been the advantage of getting a faster run in there, but still. So first and second now. So Paul Dade could put the Indians ahead with one swing of the bat here. Come on, too calm. Just the wind up in the pitch. Oh, not the calm he wanted to be on. Come on, two or 12. And he strikes out. Ah. So the Indians leave the tying runs on. So Rick Wise needs to keep this a two-run game and give the Indians a shot here. Ooh. And that's a base hit to center, so Nettles is on with a single. Oh, boy. So Chambliss up now. Chambliss is better against left-handed batters, so we're going to leave him in. Trying to get a lead as Nettles. And it's going to be a range check on Norris in left. Oh boy. Come on. Gets to it. Ooh. Bobbles a little bit, but holds on for out number one. So Roy White up now. White 0 for 3 on the day. He'll be 0 for 4 after this. It's going to be a ground ball to Verizer. Come on, Verizer. We need you to handle this one. Oh, my goodness. It does not handle it. Oh, so, Verizer gets by Verizer, it looks like. Nope. Actually, again, beats the throw. So, Verizer is, does get to it again, but White beats the throw. So, first and second for Jim Spencer. One for three on the day. Oh, my goodness. And Wise... Not so wisely. Walks the bases loaded now for Doyle. Do we have a lefty? I don't think we have a lefty in the pen, though. Yes, we do. Jim Kern. So we got to have Jim Kern come in. Yeah. Jim Kern is going to have to come in now. He's got a lot of walks there, though. Only in the six column, though. So come on. We want the four column. Or the three column. Or the one column. One, three, or four. Come on. There we go. Could be a double play here. Nope. Pops it up. Kuiper calls for it. Makes the catch. Runners hold. So Bodie's getting back in the coho seat. So, oh my goodness. Bucky bleeping dent. Just the man we want to see here. So as long as we stay away from the six column or the three column, we'll be all right. Oh my goodness. Look at all those walks. Oh, my goodness. Come on, pop up. Ah, Bucky Dent. No. No. We got to throw for the lead runner. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is quite fitting. Bucky bleeping Dent with two more RBIs. So, we may not be the one game playoff, but Bucky Dent. He's going to kill the Red Sox here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. So that'll do it. So the Indians now need four runs. So it looked like they had a shot now. It's looking a lot less bleak, a lot more bleak now with Gossage on the hill. <sighs> Verizon had an RBI double his last time up. Needs to get on here. Come on, two column. Oh, good. Come on. Good start. Base hit to right. Verizon are not very good speed, so now we're going to put the speed on. So 
So Alfredo Griffin is going to come on the pinch run. Yeah, we can't really put him. He's already at nine at bats, two hundred thirty-two percent of his usage. So we can't do him as a pinch runner, though. So he'll come on the pinch run for Verizer. So Manning up now. Manning zero for four in the day. He'll be hitting away. We don't. We need four runs, not just one. Oh, come on! Ah, he strikes out. Ah. Oh, goodness. Jim Norris. No, you stink, Norris. That's actually not bad, though. We're going to leave Norris in there. I think he's their best bet. He's got that one column and the, some good results in the three column, too. So, Or the six column. Oh, Norris. Come on, Norris. And Norris is going to deliver with his second double of the day. And no, we have to hold him now. <laughs> So Norris has got some speed there. So, man, this would have been so good if Dent hadn't delivered that single. But still, they're not dead yet. Only one down. Buddy Bell can make things interesting here. Come on, three calm. Come on, get the walk. Fly ball to left. No. 1995% chance we're going to send him. If he gets thrown out, hold the trailer. Right there. All right, so Griffin will score. So now it's 7-4. So Andre Thornton up now. He's had a rough day, but we're going to leave him in. He's our best bet still. He's got a great card there, so come on, Thornton. We need it off of your card. Oh, come on, Thornton. Oh, no, and Thornton is going to fly out to white to end the game. And there goes the Red Sox season right there. Ouch. So, Bucky Bleepin' Dent is going to be the player of the game. As there's Bernie Carbo, who is in the hole next. Ah, oh, man. Sad, sad, sad. It's a sad day in Beantown. Wow. It's the work of our last two years gone down the drain by Bucky Bleepin' Dent. So it wasn't a one-game playoff, but might as well have been. So, yep, yeah, Bucky Bleepin' Dent, player of the game. Ed Figueroa gets his 20th win, tying his total for the season. Six and two-thirds, seven hits, three runs, all of them earned, one walk, four strikeouts. Gossage gets a save, two and a third innings, four hits, one run it was earned. No walks, three strikeouts. Mike Paxson... Gets the loss. Four innings pitch. Seven hits allowed. Five runs. Th only three of them earned, though. One walk, three strikeouts. The home run to Bucky Bleepin' Dent. Rick Wise, three and a third innings. Three hits, two runs. Both of them earned. One walk. Again, to Bucky, Bucky Dent. Three strikeouts. Jim Curran, two-thirds of an inning. Allowed with one hit. A single to Dent. So for the Yankees, Rivers, one for four, two RBIs. Blair came into play center, 0 for one. Munson, one for four. Jackson, two for three, the run scored. Nettles, one for four, the run scored. Chambliss, 0 for three, with the RBI. White, one for four, the run scored. Jim Spencer, one for three, with the run scored. Brian Doyle, one for four, with two runs scored. And Bucky Bleep and Dent, player of the game, three for four. A two-run homer and four runs batted in. My goodness, does it. <laughs> does it to us again. So Rick Manning 0 for 5. Jim Norris 0 for 3 for 5 with her RBI. Buddy Bell 1 for 3 with a run scored RBI. Thornton, the killer there, 0 for 5 with 3 strikeouts. Wayne Cage 0 for 1. Carbo 1 for 2 with an RBI. Pinch hitter in DH. Gary Alexander 1 for 4. Dwayne Kuyper had a good day, 3 for 3. Briggs 0 for 1. Paul Dade, 0 for 3 with a run scored. Verizon, 2 for 4 with a run scored in RBI. And Alfredo Griffin, pinch runner, did score a run, but they're not getting that bat. So attendance of 56,124. Watch the Yankees clinch. 
And wow. Bucky Dent with his fifth home run of the season. Four runs batted in. Kills the Red Sox. Bucky Dent helped and sent the fans home happy. Well, not the Red Sox fans. That's it. I got to let this one go. So thank you for all who watch this season. We're, we're still going to play the tomorrow's Red Sox game. See, how, see if Jim Rice can continue to add to his home run total and RBI total. And we'll do a wrap-up of the season with the stats and everything. But it's a shame that they had to lose it this way. But kind of fitting in a way as Bucky Bleepin' Dent is the guy who did it to him again. Albeit not in the one-game playoff, but still hurt just as bad. Anyway, thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, my co-host Mr. Brody. And we'll be back with Game 162 for the Red Sox. And we're not going to be playing game 162 for the Yankees. I'll just let that one play out. Hopefully that'll be a loss. If that's a loss, that'll make it even worse. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll let the computer play that one. And we'll do a wrap-up of the season as it's taken a year and a half, over a little over a year and a half to complete the series here. So it's been a great series probably take a little break and uh, I think we're going to start an RPG next. We're going to start our Kenshi game um, with subscribers taking part in that one. So take a little break from Strat and then I think we may start the 1993 Brave season possibly. We'll see. But uh, it's looking like we might. We'll take a little break from Strat though, I think. Let's do some of our other series like our Ichiro series and some of our other series we have going. So Take care and God bless and we will see you in game 162 as we wrap up the Red Sox season. So take care. Bye-bye.